I don't normally do intros for a video, but one of those shots has just delivered me food. As I walked on a bend, it's a metaphor. Is it a metaphor? I don't know. But you see this dumpsters, all these dumpsters? This is exactly where this food belonged. And yes, that might be a spoiler, but when your food is delivered by someone called Pedro, somebody or other, and they're on a bicycle, and they turn up in a car, then you sort of know you're on a hiding to nothing. Okay, so it's time for another really badly done What's Mark eating tonight? So, we have got a pot, which has got the smell of... Oh, that's it! Well, I don't know what I was expecting. And what else have we got? We have got peas. <coughs> peas, eat peas. It's on my voice. Okay. Yep, microwaved, can tell that. Well, we have got, I never normally do this, but I'm not gonna sleep anyway. Cherry Coke. That's officially me not sleeping tonight. And in the third pot, we have, no, the gravy. Uh, where is the spork? Or oh, hell, the spork. Um, that is very watery. And they're of, there's no taste to it, but they've tried to make up for the taste with the onions. Yeah, that's, um, there's a real cube flavor to it. You, you can tell that it's actually made, not, obviously I don't expect it to be made properly, like, you know, all the beef things, but I can't explain it, hold on. You could taste the artificialness of it. This, it's like a bisto cube that's been concentrated and not quite diluted enough, even though that is very diluted. But let us get on to the star of the show, the drunken cow. Now, I will do a follow-up video about this because Nanda, not Nanda, it's Frankie's and Ben is a little bit a little bit crafty. Uh, 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 ta da. I mean, I, that's it. This is about the size of a traditional puka pie that you would get from a fish and chip shop for a lot less money. And I've got a feeling... Let's go righty tighty. Hang on. Oh jeepers. Yeah. That's going to make all. Maybe this is why they've watered down the gravy to sort of. Why is it impossible to have good food? Oh! Close to 15 quid this cost me. 15 pounds! For that. That, that and that, and I know there's a delivery charge, and I know there's people involved, but I could have gone to the chippy and had pie and chips for about four quid. I kid you not, in fact, there is a chippy down the road from me in work. That four, four pounds fifty, did chips, pie, gravy, and a can. 
And this, in fact, that's my screenshot, 15 quid. Well, cue my next one star review. Doesn't that look yummy? Burnt, shriveled. That's obviously been microwaved. I mean, oh, Jesus. I suppose I've got a small plate to eat my stuff on. Oh, this is getting a one star review. In fact, everywhere will be getting this, will be getting the biggest one star review I can ever do. Oh, my Jesus. I mean, just look at it. It's. I understand it's manufactured, but you can you can see where it's actually been in a microwave. I would imagine, and it's just it's not been rotated, so it's just done that one side. But I suppose better taste a bit. There's nothing to. Oh Jesus Christ! That actually tastes nice. I just wish there was something resembling a pie in it. Flipping now. Let us talk about the mashed potato. It is mashed potato. A little bit dry, uh, but that has the consistency of. Hmm, let's just have another bite. I can't. I don't think this is a packet uh, mashed potato. But yeah. It's all right, it's a bit dry. Never again. Never again, ever. Don't, do not go to Devonly Pies, who are owned by Frankie and Benny's and it's made in the same kitchen. I know this because when I've been watching them prepare it, they pick it up from Frankie and Benny's. And when you Google them, guess what, Frankie and Benny's. so depressed it's one thing to be working away from home and you think okay i am sleeping in my van look there's my bed all must messed up to go for all that sacrifice i think you know what at least one night a week i can treat myself you know enjoying my food i look forward to my tea and you get served this complete and utter shite this is the equivalent of McEwen's lager that's how badly I feel about it. And if you don't know what's wrong with McEwan's Lager, go and try a can, you'll soon understand. I'll tell you what we'll do next time I want some food. If I ever order from you, don't worry about cooking it. Just take all the raw ingredients and just chuck them in the bin along with my money because save someone else the bloody misery for what you call food. I could have even, you know, I could have gone to McDonald's and had a Zinger burger, which would have been 50% off. And I know there's nothing nutritional on there, but at least I wouldn't live under the pretense of, oh, I know, I won't eat crap tonight, I'll try and eat something healthy, but oh no. God. When you can't even cook peas properly, I mean, ugh. Damn it.